Greetings, Arkansas members. I am here with former Senator Tracy Steele. He is running for North Little Rock Mayor. Mr. Steele, thank you so much for coming on today. My pleasure. Awesome, awesome. For those who don't know, can you tell the people a little bit about who is Tracy Steele? Well, I'm a North Little Rock native. Uh, I've been here most of my life, other than go going to college. I grew up not far from where we're recording here, a uh, place called Shorter Garden. Okay. That sounds pretty, but it's yeah. government subsidized yes, housing, sir. or in other words, a project. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, certainly don't don't feel sorry for me because it was a wonderful place. Yes, sir. Uh, had its challenges, but there were a lot of caring people who nurtured me. And that's where I got introduced to sports uh, in that area. Some great coaches, great educators. Uh, grew up in a single parent household, uh, but was able to, as I often say, bounce my way yeah. in basketball to a good education at Rice University. Awesome. Uh, went to Rice. I majored in political science. Uh, came home for a short visit during the holiday after mm -hmm. I graduated, thinking, I'm going to head back to Houston and, yeah. and grow up there where, where oil is plentiful and people hire Rice grads, you know, it's a drop of a hat. Yes, sir. But uh, Jimmy, something happened. I went to a, a fundraising event, uh, met a man named then Governor Bill Clinton, offered me a job. I've been here in Arkansas ever since. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to go off script right here. What was that first job? First job was in his office. It was actually coordinator of a rural development program that he had. Okay. Working with distressed counties in Arkansas, 11 of the most distressed counties in Arkansas. So I traveled the state. I met county judges and mayors and very young man. I was about 24, mid 20s okay. and uh, actually working for the governor at that age. Awesome. Awesome. So as a, a North Little Rock person born and raised here, what's one of the biggest things that you've seen change over time? Oh, definitely education. Yeah. Uh, education has, has really changed in, in many ways. Uh, and a lot of it's been through technology. Right. And uh, now we're able to do so many different things to help with the education process, to help our young people be ready to compete. Right. Not only ready to compete in North Little Rock or Arkansas, but compete around the world. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the biggest change that I've, I've seen here. We have more opportunities than, than we've ever had. Absolutely. But our wonderful city is growing. Uh, of course, we've had some growing pains as yeah. well, but uh, we're, we're doing quite well in North Little Rock. Awesome, awesome. Next month, we will be celebrating Martin Luther King Day, and I know you spent some time with the Martin Luther King Commission. Can you tell us about your time as the executive director over there? It was a, a great experience for me, uh, being the first director yeah. of the Martin Luther King Commission. Uh, had the opportunity to work with communities throughout the state. Uh, we actually were able to actually draft and, and lay out the programs of what the King Commission would be all about. You know, I was given a piece of legislation and said, hey, go for it. I was appointed as director by then Governor Jim Guy Tucker, formed the first board. We went out throughout the state during a very difficult time because that was the same time, Jimmy, they came out with a video banging in Little Rock. Oh, yeah. So gang activity at that time was at its peak. We had challenges that this state had never had before. And we were in a position where we could actually go out and promote Dr. King's principles of nonviolence. So we went around the state, we worked with schools, we developed programs like the King Teams, which were positive groups of young people who yeah. were going out doing great things. We had junior commissioners, or, wonderful young people like yourselves and so many people in this community were involved with that. Now these individuals are doing wonderful things. People like Colette Honorable and, and Maurice Rigsby who oh, are yeah. over at UAMS and uh, some of them have gone on to run for public office but uh, that was through our leadership program called the Junior Commission Program at the, at the King Commission. Awesome, awesome. And I know you spent almost a, a large chunk of your life in public service, not just King Commission, you're also a state senator. Um, and, and there was a couple of more titles. Can you tell just briefly, like, if we were gonna have a line of everything that you've done? Well, when I first started out, my first office was state representative. Okay. Uh, went to a meeting one evening. I was had worked in the governor's office, but uh, uh, my mother, uh, before she passed, had left me such a legacy of service. Yes, sir. Uh, I was in a small NAACP meeting, and uh, there was a wonderful lady named Dr. D. Bennett, the first African-American elected to the House of Representatives here. She announced at that meeting, there was about seven people there, mm -hmm. and she announced she was no longer going to run for office. And they said, well, we need somebody to run. Absolutely. We need, we need somebody young to run. <laughs> you know? 
And, I, and I'm just sitting there taking notes. Right. And they said, what about him? There you we know? go. You were put on the spot. I was put on the spot. Yes, sir. And, uh, and I said, well, you know, why not? And I, I ran for office and I ran for the House of Representatives. Yeah. And uh, ended up serving 14 years in the Arkansas legislature, wow. which was a, a great opportunity for me, not only to serve in the legislature, but uh, to really work hard to learn the process and to, to try and impact public policy yeah. um, uh, in a way that I felt that would make life better for the people in this community. Absolutely. And uh, I, I was honored to, to actually be the lead sponsor of over 50 bills. Uh, that are now the, the law of the land and some yes, pretty important bills like, you know, you go into a restaurant right now, you don't have smoking. Yes, sir. And that was, uh, I led that charge through a special session. Uh, it was actually then Governor Huckabee asked me to, to actually be the lead sponsor on that bill to eliminate smoking in public places. Okay. Um, uh, other educational components, we put physical education back in the schools. Yes, sir. Um, we had a, an, actually a, a tax on tobacco that actually launched several programs. We were able, uh, because of the death of a young, wonderful young man at Parkview High School, mm -hmm. we were able to put automatic external defibrillators yes. in schools. The basketball player. Yes, yes sir. Yes, I remember that. yes sir. Uh, we put those in all schools throughout Arkansas, and and they're actually have saved lives. Yes, sir. There have been not only athletes that have been saved by these defibrillators, but actually people in there watching the game, some mm -hmm. elderly people have been saved by these defibrillators. So yes, it's been a wonderful experience. And probably one of my favorites is, uh, it took me a while, but I worked five years to get the funding for the monument of the Little Rock Nine yes, sir. on the grounds of the state capitol. Yes, sir. And which makes Arkansas the only state in the nation, Jimmy, that has a monument on the capitol grounds of civil rights leaders. Ah. And those are the Little Rock Nine, meaning um, Georgia doesn't have one of Martin Luther King Jr. Right. Uh, Alabama does not have one of Rosa Parks. They should, yeah. but it, it makes Arkansas pretty unique. So Absolutely. being in the legislature was a wonderful experience. Yes, sir. Uh, but probably one of my most important tasks is serving on the North of the Rock School, School Board, Board yes, sir. which is where I am uh, right now. Um, my son is a, a part of the school district, and I have so many relatives, nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and cousins. Uh, it's the school district that I grew up in. And, People came to me and said, hey, we have a vacancy here. Why don't why don't you run? And I yes. had, of course, I'm a person of faith and pray about it. And, and uh, I got the message that said, run. I said, oh, Lord, school board? Are you, are you kidding? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but it, it has turned out to be such a blessing for awesome. me because I learned about education in a way that I haven't before. Yes, sir. You know, when you're in the legislature up there in those ivory towers, you really learn about education through public policy. Absolutely. But when you're on the school board, it's, a lot you know, different. it's kind of where the rubber meets the road. Absolutely. And you know how important uh, education really can be and how impactful it, it can be. Yes, that. sir. Yes, sir. Another uh, hot button topic, since we are here at Argenta Library right here in North Little Rock, around the corner from us, we have Innovation Hub. And even recently, um, back when I was in high school, it was Altel Arena, and then it transitioned to Verizon, now Simmons Bank is taking over and if we go this way we've got the amazon distribution center all of these things kind of building up the economic development in north little rock what's kind of on your radar what do you want to see brought here to kind of bring in more jobs and more dollars into this community that's a great question jimmy i love the i love the innovation hub and what they're all about and the director there chris is doing yes, a sir. wonderful job uh, uh he has a great vision for what he wants that organization to be yes sir i'm so proud it's in north little rock because a lot of what we can do to move our city forward is going to come through technology mm -hmm. technology mesh with education we can do anything here in north little rock yes, sir. i am supportive of the economic development going on here in the city yes sir but we still have some challenges you know with the, with the plaza going up i support that multi-million dollar mm -hmm. infrastructure that's going up but you can actually go less than a mile and a half away from downtown over here to communities like dark hollow yes, sir. and communities like dixie edition yes. and you will be actually be in communities where people's homes flood mm -hmm. every time it rains. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard so about we that. have some infrastructure issues that we need to pay a lot of attention to before this, this city can really reach its full potential. I got you. I got you. And here's the last question. As everyone knows that you are running for mayor of North Little Rock, why Tracy Steele for mayor? 
Well, I love North Little Rock. I, I spent most of my life uh, helping and trying to give back uh, to North Little Rock. I have a vision for this city to move this city forward. Yes, um, uh, I think this city has tremendous potential. You know, I often say it's kind of small enough to get your arms around it, yeah. but it's also big enough to be a small metropolitan powerhouse. And, and not only North Little Rock, but I, I like to see from an economic standpoint, you know, us really stop really competing and, and knocking our heads against the wall right. from our neighbors around us. You know, you talk about the best economic machine in Arkansas, people automatically say, hey, Northwest Arkansas. Automatically. But, Jimmy, they don't say Fayetteville right. or Rogers because they all work together. Yes, sir. And, and we have to kind of change our leadership strategy with changing of leadership right. to work with our partners, work with Little Rock, yes, sir. work with Maumeo and Cabot. Uh, those cities all changed mayors over the last year. Yes, sir. And, and work with those cities so we can say Central Arkansas right. uh, is a great economic development Absolutely. opportunity for Absolutely. the state. Absolutely. I know I said last question, but do you have time for one more? Sure. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, what do you want the Tracy Steele legacy to be? Uh, one of leadership, one of bringing this community together and improving race relations. Yes, sir. Uh, one of developing this, this school district, which, which in itself uh, not only provides great education for our young people, mm -hmm. but our school district is an economic machine. Yes, sir. You know, last year in North Little Rock School District, we hired 80 new teachers. Wow. Uh, we have over 1,400 employees, uh, and 30 of those 80 teachers have their first teaching job. Wow. Many of those individuals are going to move here, live here, raise their children here in North Little Rock. So the city has to support. In the past, it's kind of been all, that's the school district. Mm -hmm. Do what they do. That's their business. And we in the city are going to do what we do. And my, if I have the opportunity to be mayor, that will not be the case. Yes, sir. We, we will be the biggest promoters, the biggest supporters of our school district, because I think that is how we're going to grow this city not just our school district, but education. Yes, sir. We have other schools in North Little Rock that need our support as well. Yes, sir. It's a critical issue. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure your mom would agree with me. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Well, Mr. Steele, thank you so much for coming on Arkansas. We greatly appreciate it. Everybody out there, look forward to Mr. Steele's interview. You can check our blog post down below. His social media links as well as his email address will be there. Mr. Steele, we hope that you run a fantastic race, and hopefully we'll see you mayor of North Little Rock. Thank you again. Thank you. Jimmy, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.